What's going on everybody? I'm Terrence and this is Bank Shipping. Good morning, good morning everybody. Hope everybody uh, is doing good this morning. If you uh, aren't up, go ahead and get up, start that grind. It is Monday morning. Um, we are in Plymouth Meeting, Pennsylvania, uh, dropping off a customer load of metal. Uh, this is about the third or fourth time that I've been here. Uh, but today, every seems like every time I come up here, it's either cold, like super cold, snowing, raining, about to snow. Uh, and you know, after a nice week last week and a nice weekend uh, with the weather, you know, up here this morning, it's. 24 degrees and the wind's blowing like crazy uh, so that's why I'm talking in here and not outside because you can't really hear anything with like how hard the wind is blowing and then I was going to you know set the the GoPro down on my trailer like always and film me unstrapping untarping and all that stuff but the wind kept knocking down the GoPro so I was like I, I, I'll just nix that so uh that was fun, you know, getting my tarps off and the tarps are frozen and hard to roll up. Plus you add in the wind, you know, and they're blowing all over the place. And, uh, but we got it done. So that's all that matters. Uh, now we've backed into this little lot, uh, the parking lot of the building that they're, uh, that's under construction and they have all this machinery, but they don't have anything with forks on it. Uh, so they're actually hand unloading me right now. Uh, so I asked the guy if he needed any help and he said, no, I got plenty of laborers. That's what they get paid for. So I said, fine by me. I'll set in the truck in the heat. So, uh, we're going to finish getting unloaded. Uh, I think they only have like two or three panels that I see, uh, that I can see in my mirror left. Uh, it wasn't much. The load was only 500 pounds, uh, but it was 32 feet long. Uh, so wasn't heavy it was just long you know so it was an easy ride up here didn't take a lot of fuel mileage or, or you know got great fuel mileage uh so as of right now i don't have anything yet uh anything else to get i'm still waiting to hear back from one of my customers if a load is going to be running uh tomorrow for me to pick up today uh so i'm you know waiting to hear back from them as well as looking at the load board uh you know most of the time I do use the load board, but most of the time when I use the load board, it's really for return loads, you know, something going back uh, that'll take me back to the house. Um, you know, I usually use customer loads to get me out and then try to find, you know, a load board load coming back because I don't have many customers up here in this area. Um, so we're going to look on load board, see if we can find anything. Um, if not, you know, we're going to head out of here, get some fuel, and then hopefully something will pop up. Uh, or I'll get a call on the way home. Uh, so I'll get back with y'all here in a few. All right, everybody. So after I left my drop off in Plymouth meeting, uh, I ended up getting another load out of Georgetown, uh, which is in DC, uh, right down by the Potomac River. I don't know if you guys can see it down there or not, but uh, so yeah, it's just some, uh, some pipe, some uh, what they use to secure the foundation. Uh, they've been working down here in the, uh, right over there in the CNO Canal. Uh, so they're done with them. So I'm picking them up and they're actually going back to Winchester Which is perfect because I got to pick up a customer load today. Anyway, that goes to Jersey tomorrow uh, So it couldn't have worked out better. So uh, had to back down this nice tight street with all the traffic and everything uh, But we're gonna go ahead and get loaded and I'll holler at y'all in a little bit All right guys, so we have got loaded uh, We have gotten loaded uh, here down in Georgetown uh, just some miscellaneous construction supplies, uh, some uh, threaded pipe that they were using to shore up the uh, the CNO canal. Had a couple buildings like the retaining wall was starting to bulge, so they was building a, uh, a temporary uh, retaining wall to keep those things from falling in. And uh, so now they're done with those uh, threaded pipe and a couple pieces of casting and the water tank. Uh, so just some miscellaneous stuff. Um, so we got that loaded. I think all together it might come to like eight, 9,000 pounds, something like that. Um, so we got that all on there, everything strapped down. Of course, I got a bunch of straps because it's a bunch of miscellaneous stuff. Uh, so 
took us a little while to get everything strapped down. There was a crane load. Uh, but all in all, we have gotten loaded. And I figured I'd take you guys along on a ride uh, through Georgetown. Um, I apologize in advance, you know, for my, my GPS screaming at me uh, whenever she does. Uh, and I apologize if it makes you dizzy because I look around a lot, uh, especially in this area, you know, with DC being tight and everything like that, cars parked right on the street, uh, I'm constantly in my mirrors. Uh, so forgive me for that if it makes you uh, a little dizzy. Uh, but it's pretty straightforward uh, getting out of here. Uh, I did all of the, the city driving coming in because I came from the north end uh, through Maryland. And basically I picked up on Wisconsin Avenue uh, and you pick Wisconsin Avenue up off of uh, 495, the Beltway, and you basically run, uh, you basically run 495, or not 495, you basically run Wisconsin Avenue all the way down to where I picked up to the, uh, at the CNO Canal, was that intersection of Wisconsin Ave and CNO. Um, and then getting out, basically you just take this parkway uh, and it will spit you out out in uh, Northern Virginia. Uh, so I'm gonna shut up. That way y'all can enjoy the ride.
All right, so that was a quick little trip through Georgetown. Um, it's not really a lot to see on that side. You know, you, you see a little bit of the shops in Georgetown and then pretty much you're riding on the little windy road next to the Potomac uh, until you get into, uh, into Northern Virginia, which is where we are now. Uh, so I'm gonna keep on this journey and I'll see y'all at the drop off. All right, guys, so just a, a quick little snippet. Uh, this is the load that I had. Uh, like I said, just some, some threaded pipe that they use for some foundation work, uh, a water tank, and some uh, some casting here in this uh, crate back here. Uh, so we are going to get unstrapped so that we can hurry up and get unloaded. Okay, so we dropped off a customer load up in Pennsylvania this morning then ran down to Georgetown in DC, uh, picked up another load, dropped it off in Winchester, uh, and then went to another customer in Winchester and picked up another load that goes to Jersey in the morning. So, shoo, that is what you call a Monday hustle. Uh, and whoever is out here watching, uh, I hope y'all are getting your hustle on too. Uh, you know, life ain't nothing but opportunities and choices. So, you know, you should choose to be the best version of yourself. That way, when that opportunity comes, you can knock it out the park. You know, no excuses because there's always going to be an excuse, but there's not always going to be an opportunity. And in the end, the hustle will be worth it. I promise. So y'all stay prayed up, grind hard and stay humble.